Shalom. First off, I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High God, your name, Yahweh, in the name of Yahweh Shah, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, in the name of the Rakakodash, which is the Holy Spirit that comforts and guides us, especially during these perilous times to come. I also want to give a double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well with truth and sincerity and peace and salutations to the elect. As you can see from this article, the Lord has these spirit of vengeance. Spirits created for vengeance out here issuing out judgment heavily. It says a Florida man kills mother and two other women before dying in a gunfight with deputies, sheriff says. So yeah, like I said, the Lord, these spirits created for vengeance are in complete order. If the Lord tells them to do something, they not they not like the nigger woman when, when dealing with her man. They don't back talk, they don't ask any questions they they happy to do the bidding of the lord i'm gonna read this one it says is i guess it breaks it down more it reads 28 year old florida man javante bryce aka scooter bryce killed his own mother at a motel six killed his first cousin on her birthday then proceeded to killing another woman that was allegedly pregnant by him so yeah he didn't have no care in the world <laughs> like i said if the Lord wants to get you, whether you're a man, woman, child, baby, even an animal, he's going to get you. And that's what people don't understand in this world. That the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His Son, Yahweh Shai, ultimately controls all good and evil in and outside of the world. And as of right now, ultimately, we're supposed to be doing the will of the Heavenly Father. That's ultimately what we're going to do anyway because we have no free will. But certain people got to play the lot. Other ones is going to be destroyed, which is majority, because like the scriptures say, there'd be many that perish and be saved. So some people are going to have to have that, put that, have that spirit of vengeance put on them to issue our judgment and ultimately receive their judgment as well. Like I said, he said he killed his first his, his own mother at a motel six. First cousin on her birthday and proceeded to kill another woman that was pre allegedly pregnant by him. First Christian I'm gonna go to is Matthew chapter twenty four and verse twelve. Because ultimately, we're supposed to be measuring the times. And as we can see, a lot of people even say the ones that's not even in this truth. But, oh, I can tell we in the last days. But they just say that just off of making conversation. But we know for a fact, us in this truth, that received the Rakakodash, which is the Holy Spirit, to understand these scriptures, that we are in the last of the last days. And that's why we had the faith, because we can see it according to the scriptures and everybody doesn't have the understanding of the scriptures that's why the lord sets up his servants the prophets to feed his people but you also got to be able to discern who is the true men of the lord because they also are false prophets like it says in matthew 24 and verse 24 it reads for there shall arise false amashiachs this is yahweh shot speaking and false prophets and shall shew great signs and wonders and so much that if it were possible, they should deceive the very elect. So the elect is going to be able to discern who's the true prophets and who's not the true prophets. And that's one of the things, This that's the biggest thing that this, one of the things that this is about. The elect and the ones that's not part of the elect. And you ultimately got to be an Israelite, first and foremost, which is the Lord's chosen people, which they consist of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and the Israelite foreigners that may look like heathen, but are not heathen. Because their father Sinai traces back to one of the 12 progenitors of the 12 tribes of Israel that's written in my bio. You ultimately got to be part of the elect of the nation of Israel to be saved. Salvation is not for everybody. Contrary to popular beliefs, the Lord doesn't love everybody. But back to the point of the lesson, Matthew 24 and 12, because he killed basically some females and his family women end up losing his own life in the shootout Matthew 24 and 12 and because iniquity shall abound the love of many shall wax cold 
So a lot of people are, the love of a lot of people are waxing cold. You see a, various articles on mothers killing their own children. I just seen an article the other day said that a mother slit her, I believe he, she slit her son's throat and tried to kill her other child. I forgot exactly how it went, but ultimately I done seen various topics on mothers killing their children, etc. Because the Lord is ultimately judging these spirits. Because like the scriptures say, Job 4 and 7, whoever perished being innocent. No one has perished being innocent. That's why us that fear the Lord understand that we're supposed to be repenting for our former sins and the sins that we commit daily because we don't know what the Lord is going to do to us as far as in judging us for our sins. But we just pray and beg that he have mercy upon us. I'm going to go from there to Sirach, chapter 39. Or Sirach or Ecclesiasticus, chapter 39. In verse 28, it reads, There be spirits that are created for vengeance. And that's ultimately what that man had on him, a spirit that was created for vengeance which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. And who made them? The Heavenly Father, through his son, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Fire and hell, famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. So we understand that ultimately, any form of judgment has a spirit of vengeance on it. <laughs> the Lord is going to put spirit of vengeance upon, upon this earth heavily. As we can see, a lot of death has been going forth around the four corners of the earth. And we understand, especially here in America, America is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear fire, them ICBM missiles, by way of World War III. Spirit created for vengeance. The spirits are going to be in that missiles and those missiles. And like, it's, like the scriptures say, they're not going to miss. They're not going to break their rank. Ultimately, they're not going to miss their target. Teeth of wild beasts. Yeah, even these animals that's attacking people and putting them to death and, and mauling dogs, mauling. Like I seen an article the other day or a story, I believe it was, that a guy that had a, dog, a pit bull kennel and his dogs mauled him to death. And scorpions and serpents and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. And we know the sword can the modern day sword can be any form of weapon. They should rejoice in his commandments and they should be ready upon earth. So those spirits is like, you know, <laughs> they ready to do the work for Yahweh Shim Yahusha. Like pick me, pick me. When he when he is and when their time has come, they should not transgress his word. Like I said, they're not gonna back talk, they're not gonna question why Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is commanding them to do what he wanted to do. They don't have feelings like we've developed in this society. And like we telling our people that they have to put off their feelings on this Western state of mind that they've developed. Because especially here in America, which is going to be burned by thermonuclear fire, they push this mindset on our people to believe what's contrary to what's pleasing in the sight of the Lord. Ultimately, wickedness and sin. That's what they promote in this kingdom. And that's why the Lord is going to destroy it. He's going to destroy it and all the rest of the kingdoms on this earth and establish the Israelite kingdom of everlasting righteousness. But as that time as, uh, up until that time, these spirits, spirits of vengeance is going to be out here doing the bidding of the Lord. And like I said, they don't care whether you uh, man, woman, child, or baby. Because people forget when the Lord flooded the earth, it was people of all ages on the earth. I'm going to go from there to Ezekiel chapter 9 and verse 4. It reads, And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sign that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst of 
and it, and this in this scripture, the mark is talking about it's it's the wa, the mark of exemption. It's not the same mark that's written in Romans the 16th chapter, I believe, in the 17th verse. Then when it talks about mark them, that's caused the vision. That mark is, I believe, scopeo, and it's basically talking about to watch. And it's definitely not the same mark that's written in Revelation 13 and 16. That's why us here at Great Millstone, starting from our elders and apostles on down to the men that teach the same doctrine, we tell our people we got to continue, we got to study, and we go into the words. And like I said, that mark in Revelation 13 16 is the mark of the beast, which is karagma in the Greek, which is the imprinted mark. And we know that to be the RFID microchip which they're going to make mandatory. And a lot of people are going to take it. And them spirits created for vengeance is going to wreak havoc on them, especially the ones that take it and have to take part, the, the ones that take part of that lake of fire. When that time comes, two-thirds. When it, in America here, it's going to boil down to the one-third, which is the elect, which are going to have that mark of exemption, the Dawa that's written in this chapter. They're going to have that mark of exemption and be saved out of it like it's written in jo jeremiah the 30th chapter i believe starting the seventh or sixth verse he shall be saved out of it everybody else is going to be the ones that's here during that time is going to be destroyed by the lake of fire and the wicked around the four corners of the earth that's ultimately lot is to be destroyed is going to be destroyed But I'm going to continue on. Ezekiel 9 and verse 5, and he said, And to the other, he said, In my hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young. So it's talking about the old people. Don't give you, the spirits don't give you old, young, both maids and little children. Don't give you young women or little children and women. <laughs> Say woman twice, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark. And begin at my sanctuary. So as the scripture is saying, I believe that's for first Peter the fourth chapter in the seventeenth verse, judgment is going to start at the house of Israel. Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. So yeah, it's going to begin with Israel. It's and it's going to start with those that know that they're Israelites, like the scriptures say. I've been saying a lot of couple articles like i said about these women getting judged and that's why we telling our women that they need to humble down and repent seek the lord stop trying to be a bad bitch you know being stop being a whore like i said be humble get in order because the lord is not playing he don't care if you look good or not and that's the problem women got put on so much of a pedestal in this kingdom that they believe that they can just talk to men any type of way they believe that they can just do what they want but just like the serpent and Eve in the garden they work together the Lord ultimately is about to take that power away from the serpent and as we know the serpent the devil that the Bible speaks of the ones on the bend of Satan in the flesh is the so called white man who forefathers Esau Edom the one that got child on this high pedestal the Lord is about to take his power away. He's going to be destroyed. This His kingdom is about to be destroyed. So, like I said, it's best that you get in line and, and follow suit. Basically, jump on board with this truth because ultimately, if you don't, you're not going to make it. Like it says in 2nd Edward the ninth chapter, that the ones that loathe the law when they had yet liberty, why you have grace to turn back and repent and get back in order, the same must know it after death by pain. The one that, do, that don't follow this truth. Just like these women had to be destroyed by that guy. With, I forgot his name, but yeah, that guy. Isaiah 32 and 9, it reads, Arise, ye women, that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear to my speech. Because these women are at ease. So Isaiah, basically, the prophet is basically talk, talking to the Spirit of the Lord, saying, Arise, ye women, that are at ease. Many days and years shall you be troubled, ye careless woman, for the vengeance shall fail and the gathering, gathering shall not come. So eventually the vengeance is going to fail. The gather, gather, gathering is not going to come. Ultimately, these benefits and, and, like I said, the things that you receive for your beauty and this kingdom is going to eventually fail. The money, the, the, these jobs is going to start closing. 
as we can see, a lot of jobs is closing. Everything is going to eventually go digital. And that's going to lead to them pushing the mark of the beast. Because even if you take it, it's guaranteed that you're going to be destroyed, like the scriptures say. And like I said, many days and years shall you be troubled. Because ultimately, during the time of Jacob's trouble, that's right around the corner. This is the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. A lot of women are going to be scared shitless because these spirits of vengeance will be on these men heavily and on these animals, etc. And these women are going to be looking for a man for protection because ultimately the police is not going to be able to save you. Because these police, it's going to be so much going on that they're not going to be able to come to your rescue. And that's going to happen according to the scriptures, whether you believe it or not. Just like the police weren't able to save these women that the guy in this, in this article that I just read had killed. It reads, Tremble ye women that I ease be troubled, ye careless ones, strip you and make you bare, and girl slack scoff upon your lawns. So ultimately, you need to humble down. When, when, when our people was wearing sackcloth, ultimately when we were out on them highways and byways, ultimately, I, basically, sackcloth is meaning that you, you're mourning. Because it's the time of mourning. We're supposed to be at a time of mourning because all hell is going to break loose. And this is not the time to ultimately be partying and, and, and trying to have a hot girl summer. If reads, they should lament for the teats, for the pleasant fields, for the fruitful vines. Yeah, so that that child support, welfare, alimony, section eight, etc. That stuff is gonna fail. The Lord is gonna put all that to naught, and you're gonna have to go back to your natural state, which is ultimately being a woman. Because if not, <laughs> you're just gonna ultimately be judged. But a lot of women don't have faith and ultimately they don't believe in these scriptures. And they 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 got, like I said, many have turned aside, many have turned aside to Satan. First Timothy 5 15. So they want to continue to be follow after the serpent, like Eve did in the garden. And ultimately that's going to that cause that causes them to be an enemy to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. But the few women that 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 receive this truth and believe on this truth, they're ultimately the Lord may have mercy upon them. Because ultimately, we all the hopeful of that. And that's what us men that's, that's, that's preaching this word and truth and society and the ones that believe, we're humbling ourselves down, coming obedient to Yahweh Shemir Shah. So we're not telling y'all to do anything that we're not doing. Micah 7 and 10, it reads, Then the she that is my enemy should see it, and shame should cover her, which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy power? The one, because like I said, a lot of these women don't have faith. They think that us, especially the ones that was dealing with men, that's in the truth, hindering the man from doing the work, ultimately had to be cut off. Basically, the Lord must have a serious hatred towards you because if if you basically had a man of the Lord and you basically turned your back on him or 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 ultimately just got in the way of him doing his work to the point he had to cut you off your covering is ultimately gone it reads my eyes shall behold her now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets and like we see a lot of these women are going to possibly be drafted in the military because that's what's going on we, they talking about drafting and like I said the Lord is the is the control of all so if a person's lot is to take part in that that's the will of the lord but we understand that the lord ultimately is going to have his elect covered so the best thing that you can do is seek the lord repent and pray that he had mercy upon you because like i said these spirits of vengeance are out here heavy and they they're doing the bidding of Yahweh by Shim Shah. Satan is under subjection to Yahweh by Shim Shah, whether you believe it or not. And the will of the Heavenly Father is gonna happen. Like he said, his words is not gonna go out void. So repent. 
Lord willing, this video was edifying. Shalom.